Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Um, I got sent a guitar to do a review on. Now, um, I want to make it clear that I got sent this, so they sent it to me for free. I did not pay them anything. They did not pay me anything um, in order to review it. So I'm going to give you an honest review, of course, like I always would anyway, but I had to make that clear right out of the gate. Okay, I'll I'll show you the unboxing uh, and fast forward. Um, there's lots of, I don't want to show you an unboxing, but just to show you how it came and I'll quickly shoot through that and then we'll talk about it. First of all, this is a Strat copy by a company named Glary. Okay, this thing costs $69.99 to come to your door here in the U.S. That's amazing, uh, the price. Um, <laughs> so, what do you expect to get for $70? And that is really a subjective thing, okay? But first of all, out of the box, I see no cosmetic flaws whatsoever. Um, none. Now I will say that they were supposed to, uh, they told me they were going to send me a base to review, but I guess all the bases were out, so they sent me this. Whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Maybe they'll send me a base in the future. I don't know. I will honestly review it if they do. Um, this has a few good qualities, but overall, if you don't want to watch a long video, I would not recommend this for a beginner ever, 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 ever. Okay, I want to make that clear. I would not recommend this for a beginner. This is challenging. Uh, there's problems with it. So, and I don't mean just a, a, a few problems. There are critical problems with it that make it no fun to play. Okay, a luthier would have to fix this. I can do a little bit and my husband can do a lot more than me, but right out of the box, it's not comfortable to play, okay? The features of this thing are, uh, I'll list them all because you don't want to hear all that. All the the switches, this is a five-way, and the switch feels fine in all positions and they all work. The knobs feel fine. None of them are too hard. They're not, they don't make noise or anything like that. They work. Um, the tremolo works fine. I'm just not a tremolo person. So the first thing I do when I see something with a trim on it is take it off. And hey, that's just my preference. But it works fine. Um, the thing is hard to keep in tune because of several reasons. The nut being one of them. The nut, I'll, get, I'll show you close-up pictures of it. Uh, the tuners work fine, except for the G-string tuner. Uh, it's a little sketchy. It it sort of jumps, but it, it's workable. Um, the neck is a fat C. Um, somebody who... I don't have small hands, but I don't have large hands. Um, but this neck is like a little bigger than my base neck, um, which kind of was surprising. But some people like that. It's got a very light satin finish on it. Um, preference thing, you know, whether you like that or not. There's no fret sprout. The frets are fine. Now, let's get into the problems. First of all, when I pulled it out of the box, all three pickups were completely uh, at the very bottom. They were at the bottom of the pick guard. So I had to adjust those which that's just fine. I mean, that's not too difficult, but a beginner might not know how to do that. Um, it came intonated pretty decently, which I thought was good. Um, but here's, here's the problems. And I'm not being nitpicky here, you guys. Um, finish problems, things like that would be nitpicky in my opinion for $70. But what I would expect is for it to be a little bit better playable. And I'm not talking about a great player here. I'm just talking about 
playable. Um, let me get into the problems. The nut height. I'll show you pictures of both sides of that. The nut is high enough that it will start to go out of tune. All right, I want to show you how far it's knocked out of tune by this nut. All right. It is dead on E, right? Watch the first fret now. Okay, that is so sharp. <laughs> it should be straight F. I mean, that is very, very far off, you guys. It is... Okay, let's look at the second fret. Almost to the G there. Now here we should be at a G, right? Okay, look at the next string. A, alright? Dead on. Now watch, watch what happens when I do the first fret. It's so you see there how difficult this is. we play. See if that'll pick it up. No. Just for a quick comparison, I pulled out my bass and I want to show you this. See how I get on that D string there? Open, D, straight on. First fret, D sharp, straight on. Second fret, E, straight on. Okay, that's the way it should be <laughs> on any instrument, okay? It shouldn't be so far off. Um, so that's not a good thing. So you're not height there, Glary. Fix that. Um, now, <laughs> here's a big problem, and that is the fretboard. Now, I've got pictures of it, and I'll show it to you, but the fretboard, I don't know if you can see that lean there. But it is much higher on this side at the first string than it is at the sixth string. And I mean, it is a huge difference. You can see it there. And if you look here, there is even a gap at the bottom where it is sticking up. Now this makes um, playing it and adjusting the string height and everything, it makes it really funky, okay? Um, now I'm going to go through and play it for you. Uh, if you are someone who likes to tinker around, this would be for you. Um, because it's not very expensive and the parts work that I received and the neck is just really crooked and the nut needs to be fixed. But other than that, the frets feel fine. Um, and... Yeah, I just can't overcome that neck and that nut. It makes it very hard to play. Uh, but even the, um, I've seen some videos where this is loose and uh, you jiggle it and it makes noises. It doesn't do that on this one. I don't know if they've improved that. Okay, let's plug it, plug it up and play it. Okay, as we plug it in, I can rattle it. There's no noise. I'm gonna turn the volume all the way up. There's no noise when I rattle that, so that's good. All right, so let's start full on everything. I've got it on clean. Um, I do have some fret rattle.
pressing the strings down is eons. It just takes forever to press those strings down. Um, boy. Everything gets sharp the minute you fret it. try out some of these. Uh, I've got it in the front <sighs> front pickup there. And I'm missing because of this height. Um, next switch. close up on the uh, action height here it is it is this high and it's rattling right now so and this is with a straight neck now if you cup the neck a little bit uh, with your truss rod there it helps out up here but you lose it up here so <laughs> pressing the strings down is just crazy so, single thing that I go to play is already messed up because of that nut height. <laughs> so I know it, it just, uh, um, and I'm not a, you know, I'm not, I'm not a very good guitarist or anything, but I've been playing stringed instruments for a long time and I'm trying, I'm going to try to learn some electric guitar to put in my backing tracks. I've already been doing that. Um, but this is not what you need for that, <laughs> unless you really want to tinker. If you're a tinkerer, great. But other than that, to get all this fixed, you'd have to take it to a luthier. And um, by the time you did that, you know, you'd have to take it into a shop. By the time you did all that, it's usually around 40 bucks for a decent setup. And sometimes it's more, 
you know, um, and then you might, they might want you to get a whole new nut. They might not want to do that work. Um, so, you know, you're, you're bumping up towards the, um, the bullet price and stuff like that. And a bullet, uh, I would, I haven't played a bullet, but watching the reviews, I would say would probably be better than this. Um, so Glary, if you are watching this, thanks for sending this for me to uh, review. I appreciate that. Um, it's going to be a kit thing for my husband to play with to fix that, get a new nut, or, yeah, because it's plastic. He's going to probably put a new nut on there. He might change some of the electronics, though the electronics are working fine. Um, I don't see a problem with any of that stuff, but he likes to tinker around with stuff, so that's what we're going to do with it. Beginners do not buy one of these. That's what I would say to you. Um, now, a lot of times people think that when they send these things off for people to review for free, that they're going to hand select one. Well, if they hand selected this one, wow. <laughs> you know, so, um, and it does not come down to anything picky. I am not being picky, you guys. Um, I would expect just something that's playable. This is not playable as is. Even at the first fret, we go so far past where we're supposed to be. No, that is not playable. Um, so there we go. I'm going to leave it at that. Overall, it looks great. Does not play good. <laughs> and, you know, I don't, you know, I things that I've um, reviewed in the past... I have reviewed some lower quality stuff, like that Harley Benton banjo. It was the lowest model of banjo you can get, and it's right around 130 bucks. And let me tell you, it's playable. You saw me play it. Uh, the the nut height, everything, all that was good. The action height, okay, you know, all that stuff was good. So um, I'm being honest here. I, I've seen a lot of these reviews. And, uh, you know, maybe they got a different guitar than I got. But this is not playable as is. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this review. And before I go, I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.